First column, paragraph. Great, Al Rebbe is explaining Dafka by the sparks of tail coming down, then you elevate it to a place higher than it was before, and that's why through the Mayim Rabbim could a person attain levels that they didn't even reach in Ganeidim. This is what Chazal tells us. Therefore, the Mayim Rabbim are called Mei Noyach. In the negative way, it's because he caused the flood to happen. But in the previous, Dafke through Mayim Rabbim, Dafke through the Mabul, do you reach a level of Menucha and Naicha and greatness? Why? Shenasimim Tevas Noyach. It became, from, because of the marble, became the Teva of Nayach, which is, the Baal Shem Tev said, Prina's Teva sat The words of Teva and Tfila, Kmeshikosa ba'at of a chobeis chala Teva. Baal Shem Tev said, the word Teva, besides being an ark, also means a word. Be'al Teva, the Baal Shem Tev said, what protects a person from the marble, from the Mayim Rabbim, you go into words of Teva and Tfila, and that protects you from the marble, just like it was in the next time. But here he says an interesting point. The water became very powerful. The water, as Rashi, the Pazit says, but Rashi explained it, that the, the water was 15 Amas above the highest mountain. That represents the Govron Mayim, the power of the Mayim Rabbim, represents the power of the Nefesh Shabbamis, Al Bechinus Nefesh Shulikis, over the Nefesh Shulikis, Beisa Kapon, Banosav, and Yonim Dashmim. Govron Mayim, again, the Mabu became very powerful. That means the Mayim Rabbim, the worries about Parnos and Gashmis, was very, very powerful. But through that becomes the Yisin earth. But like you explained before, Davka through that, you reach a higher level. And that's where the Pasuk says, It says the table is going underwater. And then the Pasuk says, The, the ark was picked up. That means, yes, the Mayim Rabbim are dangerous. But Davka, the Mayim Rabbim, picked the Teva up. That means Teva represents Kedusha, Teva, Tefillah, right, the words of Teva and Tefillah. So the Mayim Rabbim, like you explained before, the Mayim Rabbim, Dafka through the Mayim Rabbim, you're transforming Cheshuch to Or, it's a greater level of Or. So he says that's the concept of Tarnam HaTeva. At the Teva, the words of Teva and Tefillah were elevated, Dafka through the Mabu, Dafka through the Mayim Rabbim. This is the mistake of business people. Their intent is that they don't have the ability to daven like the yeshiva boys. The guys that sit and learn all day. That's what they think. I have to run to business. He says, It's the opposite. Because they're given more koyach. Forget the mayim rabim, meaning business people, business elevates the, elevates the davening. So he says, Adarab, Davke through the Mayim Rabim is the Teva, the Kedush, level of Kedusha, elevated to a higher level. And that's why the Nemei Nayach are called Nayach Adaruch, which is a level of Shabbos, like it says, Kivei Shabbos, Miko Melachti. Shabbos is the Yinam Menucha, Nayach, right? So now he says that's the level of May Noyach is called Shabbos. Shabbavav Yemei Amaisu is Pashtus Vamshachus Machus is Baruch Lamat. What is the six days of creation? Six days of creation is Hashem Vayemer Lekim Vayemer Lekim. Now Vayemer we learned as Malchus speech. That means every day Sunday Vayemer Lekim Malchus is being revealed in a level of Chesed of Malchus. So therefore, Or became created. Second day is Gvur of Malchus, so therefore became the Rokia, and so on. Second day was the Rokia Tachi or Desha, Shenikroim and Meyamais, they're called days of action. They're called the days of action. 
That's the way Elokuz comes down into the world. What happens on Shabbos? Hashem is not creating anymore with Malchus, with Dibun. So therefore what happens, like what happens when a person works, they get tired. Right? The energy goes into the objects they're, they're making, right? So then what happens when you rest? You get back your koyach. That means now you're removed from the world. And Shabbos, Hashem is removed from the world. So then Hashem is not anymore creator. Hashem on the day of Shabbos is above creation. Therefore, as Siddhis explains, Hashem creates, we have to emulate Hashem. We have to copycat Hashem, right? Like it's a, the Dafka by to do what Hashem what does, we have to do it. So Hashem creates six days. So the Pasik says, Sheshi Syamim, Tasim Lachtach, which the Medrash says is a mitzvah. Tasim Lachtach, it says six days, Tasim. Now it doesn't say you could do work. Tasim Lachtach means you have to do work, meaning what's work? Creativity. So during the week, Hashem is in the creative mode. So therefore, how do we connect Hashem? By creating, creativity. Shabbos, Hashem is above creation. Therefore, what's the concept of Shabbos according to Chassidus? It's a connection with the supernatural level of Hashem, not the natural level of Hashem that comes and deals with limitation of world. It's association with Hashem higher than creation. It's the elevation of world down here. Like a person who rests. What happens when you rest? You get back your strength. That means you're not bringing this strength into the world, like six days of creation. You're regetting it from a higher level. All these problems it called Mayim Rabbe. Therefore, now. Through davening, because Siddhis explains, every day there's a level of Shabbos. What's the level of, where, which part of the day is Shabbos? So it says in Siddhis, Tfilah, davening, is like Shabbos of the, of the day. It's called B'chinez Unai Chedruch HaShish Shabbos. Kedua, I think he says, as it's known, Shekol Tfilim Ivav Yemei Amais. Every davening of the six days of creation is a level of of Shabbos. But this is only Shabbos Tato. That's only the lower level. Then you have Menucha L'chai Or Elamim. Because remember he said, Eilu told us Noyach Noyach. There's Noyach and Shabbos, right? There's a lower level of Shabbos. And there's a higher level of Shabbos. We get Chinesh Shabbat Elah. There's a higher level of Shabbos, which is Mashi Elah Asim. Shnei Kiyem Shekula Shabbos, which is the whole thing is Shabbos. By the way, we learned during the week that there's three levels actually in Shabbos. There's a Friday night level, there's a Shabbos day level, and there's a Shabbos afternoon level of Shabbos. It's called Rav the Chol which we learned that's the difference in the order of the Kiddush and all that stuff. And that's what it says, Ashe Nishbat, Yimei Ava Yimei Neyach Ala Oretz. Ki Hinei, so L'chayre, Hashem swore never to bring the Mabul again. Yeah, but L'chayre, if the Mabul is such a holy thing, <laughs> why there should be every day a Mabul. So he says, Achlei B'chol Zman Tzorach Tarek Kol Kach. But we don't have to have this level every day. It's once in a while. So Hashem says a continuation of that posse. Hashem says, I will stop yelling and screaming at you. Becomes yes and or, even though Lucheri explained, through the Mabu you become greater. So the Mabu is a good thing. So why is Hashem swearing never to bring the Mabu again? He said, "In Kozeh Yesh Ei Bechinas Saver Rabba, which is Mama Mila, which is Mila La Mila, Av Bechinas Avazu Al Shabai De Mayim Rabba." The Rebbe explains. What the Rebbe says because there's really a level of Ava that's even higher than the Ava that comes to the Mayim Rabba. 
The Altarebbe is explaining what's the mile of the Mabu, Mei Noyach, Naicha, Shabbos, because it brings the Ava to the person of transformation of darkness to light. But that's the Avaida of the Jew. Then there's an Ava, when a Jew does that Avaida, then you get a gift from above, that's the Ava that Hashem gives us, <clears throat> which is much, much greater than the Ava that you reach through Avaida. Because any way you look at it, our Avaida is limited. And therefore we can only reach, a lim relatively speaking, a limited form of Alokos. But In the beginning Hashem says, I'm not going to bring it for the same reason. Right. No. It's against each other. So it's not going to bring the Bible because they're not going to bring the If you would have listened to the class Monday night, you would have known the answer to this question. I there is, if, it's late, if Teira is MS and Teira is what Hashem wants, how can you have an argument in Teira? Basilo says you're allowed to, Beishami says you're not allowed to. Yeah, but what did Hashem say? One second, what did Hashem say? It's allowed or not allowed? How can Basil says Hashem says it's allowed and Meshami says Hashem says it's not allowed? It's either, what did Hashem say? Allowed or not allowed? What do you mean, elevate the Vilakim Chaim? That's what the Gemara answers when he asked him, does there a doubt by Hashem? He said, yeah, elevate the Vilakim But that doesn't answer the question. What did Hashem say? So the answer is, by the way, elevate the Vilakim Chaim, Misad Elokim, there could be elevate but then the Gemara says in Sanhedrin, the Pasuk about Dovid and Malach, Vavaya Imai, Halacha Kameisi Bukhal Mokim. The Dovid and Malach, the Halacha was always like him, but over there it's Vahavaya Imai, meaning like this. There's something um, that you can look at it two ways. For instance, this concept, yeah? A person is born bad. It's an intellectual concept. A person is born bad. Now, you can look at it different ways. You can say, if he's born bad, so therefore when he does bad, it's not his fault. Or you can say, the person is born bad, get rid of him. Where do you see this in a very simple, practical way? Well, they will remain nameless. There's certain groups that if a Jew is not from, they're not Jewish. They're not Jewish, right? That's one way of looking at it. They're bad, they're not from, get rid of them. Another way of looking at it is, it's their fault. Were they ever taught? Did they ever learn? What do you want from them? It's not their fault. Correct? So you have one concept, a Jew is not from. You can look at it in a way, okay, kill him. He's not from, that's Gvoda. But you can look at a chesed and say, so it's not his fault. Every aspect of Torah, there's a machlekes, meaning like this, there's a concept. A person is born bad. Before the Mabel, when Gvoda was revealed, so Hashem said, destroy the world. They're born bad, so they're never going to be good. After the Karban, Vayarach Hashem is Reach and Chayach, so then Midas HaChesed was revealed, Hashem said, one minute, it's not their fault. Shkarech to your